Hi. Hi. Uh-oh. Button. Apparently the lens is all dirty now. Hi guys. Say hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Are you being shy? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then welcome. My name's Nana, and this is my daughter, Harley. Yeah. Say hi, Harley. Say hi. Hello, Harley. Hi. <laughs> so today's video is gonna be the second episode of our How to Style series. In this video, I'm gonna be choosing something from Harley's wardrobe and show you guys how I would style it on her multiple ways. So the item that I'm gonna be styling on Harley is a basic t-shirt dress. I wanted to go with a basic item, something that you guys will most likely have in your child's wardrobe, something that's easily accessible. Almost any store that sells children's clothes is gonna have like a basic t-shirt dress, like the cotton material ones. Also, it's very affordable as well. Some of my favorite places that I like to shop for t-shirt dresses for Harley is Target, H&M, Zara, Old Navy has a lot of good ones, um, and sometimes Walmart too. For this video, I'm going to be using some basic dresses that I got for Harley from H&M. It actually came in a pack, and that's one of my favorite things about buying basics from H&M is they sell their basics in like a pack of three or more, and the pack comes in like different color variations. So this pack of dresses that I got from H&M came in five different colors. We have the heather gray one, black one, a darker gray polka dot one, darker pink dress, and it also came in this lighter pink polka dot. The first and probably most simple way that I like styling these basic dresses on Harley is layering t-shirts underneath or even over top. You can layer a short sleeve tee like I am right here in the first outfit or if you want you can swap it out for a longer tee or even a turtleneck. For this first outfit, I layered underneath a light pink floral print tee that I got from Oshkosh. Any plain tee or graphic tee will do, but I especially like the t-shirts with a little bit of sleeve detail, just gives a little something extra to the basic dress. This t-shirt in particular has a lettuce hem, I think that's what it's called. And now that we're getting into the colder months, you can easily swap out a regular t-shirt for a long sleeve tee or even a turtleneck underneath too for some extra warmth. For this second outfit, I layered a black and white turtleneck that we got off of Amazon underneath the black dress and I actually wanted to add something extra to the outfit. You guys know I love a good graphic tee so I layered this Metallica graphic tee over top as well just for some added warmth too. The Metallica tee is from the boys section at Target. I bought it a year ago though so I don't know if it's still available but if I do see it online anywhere then I'll go ahead and link it down below for you guys. And then I paired the outfit with her trusty Doc Martin boots, also from Amazon. And I made sure the white socks that she had on were showing above the boots, just to balance out the white and black. Layering with a collared shirt is another great and easy way to style up the basic dress. I really like layering fun and loud pattern pieces under a monocolored dress. I went with this really fun cat print short sleeve collared shirt that I got from Hibobby International. I found this one under the boys clothes so it fits a little oversized but still really cute. And for shoes, I just threw on her classic black and white high top vans. Now that we're finally getting into the fall season, I'm definitely going to be layering longer sleeve collared shirts under the dress. And you can never go wrong with a classic white button up collared shirt. I chose this white button-up collared shirt that I got from the thrift store for her and layered it underneath the black dress. I thought it'd be really cute to have a little black ribbon tied around her collar as well, so I just used this black velvet ribbon that I got from Michaels and I just cut it to size. And for those chillier days, you can layer a coat or blazer over this outfit as well. I went ahead and chose this red tartan blazer that I thrifted for her a while ago. I think it looks really cute with this outfit. It gives schoolgirl, gossip girl vibes. So cute in this outfit. I love this fit. And for shoes, I paired it with her lace-up combat boots, also from the thrift store. Another really cute way to layer with a basic dress and collared shirt is with a knit vest. Her knit vest is also from the thrift store. Sorry guys, a lot of thrift finds in this styling video. Um, but if I find anything similar, I'll go ahead and link it down below. 
And to accessorize the outfit, she's wearing this Heaven by Marc Jacobs double-headed leather teddy backpack. I feel like you can find a lot of knit vests in the boys section at the thrift store, or even if you want to check Poshmark, I see a lot on there for a decent price as well. The sweater vest is very versatile. You can really get away with wearing it oversized or just as a regular vest once they grow into it as well. So if you are looking to invest in a knit vest for your little one, I highly suggest buying it oversized first and that way you'll definitely be getting the most wear for your money. I really love styling leather jackets with dresses and even skirts or just any type of clothing that's considered or perceived as more feminine or delicate in general. I just really love the contrast between the two and I feel like the leather jacket automatically adds some attitude and edge to any outfit. For Harley's first leather jacket look, I have her in the darker pink dress from H&M and I layered a lighter pink t-shirt underneath. And then she's just wearing her trusty Doc Martin boots and some light pink socks which are also from H&M, they came in a pack. And for bags, I threw on this mini opening ceremony purse. I also love accessorizing this outfit with a scarf during the fall time. I really like the ease and versatility of the scarf, especially with the unpredictable Bay Area weather as we're transitioning into the fall. I used this really pretty blue and cream tartan scarf that I found for her at the thrift store last year. I thought the colors from the scarf paired very well with Harley's heather gray dress and canvas Ducey Air Forces. The third way that I like to style the basic dress on Harley and probably my most common way is with layering sweatshirts over top. Out here in the Bay Area, we can have really chilly, foggy mornings and then have it hit like 80 degrees by noon. So this sweatshirt dress combo is definitely my go-to, especially when she has school and it's colder in the morning when I drop her off. That way later on in the day, she can easily just take the sweatshirt off and have the dress underneath for when it's hotter. I mean, you can easily layer an outerwear piece over the dress, but I just find the sweatshirt to be a lot more comfortable for Harley and it's way less of a hassle and less heavy duty compared to a jacket or coat. For this first outfit, I used the pink polka dot dress and layered a cream mock neck sweatshirt over top with some pink socks and her Stussy Air Force ones to match. And then to tie it all together, I accessorized the outfit with this really cute plush piggy purse from Zara. For the second outfit, I used the dark gray polka dot dress and layered this dino sweatshirt from Zara over top. I thought this outfit would look really cute with this dark gray Nike hat that I thrifted for her, but she wasn't really feeling the hat, so we just took it off. I think the outfit is cute with or without the hat though. And then I paired the outfit with some light cream colored socks from H&M. These are part of a pack that came with her other pink socks and just used her Susie Air Force Ones. The last way that I like to style these basic dresses on Harley is with a belt. This last way is a little less impractical for everyday wear. If anything, I usually like styling the dresses with a belt for special occasions and events or more often for photo shoots. For this outfit option, I belted this brown tweed blazer jacket over the black dress and paired the outfit with her black lace-up combat boots. The YSL belt I used is actually my belt. I've been on the hunt for a really cute black leather belt that will fit Harley better. I saw a couple of cute belts for kids on the Trendy Kids Shop or Shop Little Fashion on Instagram. If you guys were interested or have been looking for a really cute belt for your little ones too, those are some shops that you guys can check out as well. For the second outfit, I layered this really cute gray plaid oversized blazer from Nova Kids over the heather gray dress and belted it with this black grommet belt I got from the thrift. What I really like about the grommet belt is you can adjust it to any size that you want, so even as Harley gets older, she'll still be able to fit into this belt, so I know that we'll be getting a lot of wear out of it and it'll be living in her closet for a long time. 
I also like that it's not leather, it's made out of some kind of woven fabric so it's a lot less restricting and more comfortable for Harley to move around into. And that's the end of the video. Thank you again for watching you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed Harley's outfits and found the styling tips in this video helpful. Don't forget to like this video and comment down below what else you would like to see me style on Harley. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Do you have anything else to say? Bye. There you go.